Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna edit a couple of my recent pictures、uh, from my Instagram and show you how my editing process. So my first photo is gonna be this one with Lindsay. So let's get started. So this one, I opened the Visco Cam, and this one is originally from the Fujifilm XT2 JPEG Classic Chrome、uh, Simulation Mode. And then, first of all, I see the lines、uh, in the background is not straight, so I'm gonna rotate a little bit. <coughs> So just slightly a little bit, and then the next one I'm gonna crop it. So the cropping principle is that、uh, do not leave uh, too uh, small room on top, so more headroom on top, just some breathing room for the、uh, portrait. And it's better when when the Instagram square crop square, you still have some room on top. So my next one, I choose the filter. In this case, I can choose either HB2 has more contrast or E5. In this case, I'm using HB2, and then I am gonna increase the contrast a little bit. I can still still see too bright on the background. Slightly reduce, maybe minus one around minus one, and then. Highlight tone,、uh, reduce a little bit. Sharpness, I can, I can, I can increase slightly a little bit more. So you can preview it.、Uh, just like save, click OK. You can preview it to see oh how it looks、uh, in the square format. And then now, if you feel like okay, that's good. And then you save, and then use the actual size. Saving the actual size. The next one, this one is pretty.、Uh, it's darker than the previous one.、Uh, even though it's the same location, it's darker. So my editing, I cannot copy and paste from the previous one. I can, but、uh, I still need to adjust a little bit. It's darker. Even、um, it's not good for the HB two. So this one, I'm going to use the E five as a base. And then、uh, increase slightly、uh, of the exposure, and then increase the contrast. Then I'm increasing the sharpness and uh,、um, the warmness because the sunset is warm.、Uh, I increase the warmness a little bit, and then when I'm do the four by five Instagram crop. I will retain the eyes on the top third area of the frame, so that is evenly、uh, contributed throughout the frame. So the top third, and then on top of that, there's some headroom on top, and I can reduce the highlight, and I can increase even the contrast a little bit more. So I'm gonna save this one, and the next one has a similar.、Uh, Lighting, so I can save this one first, and then next I'm gonna do a copy, edit, and then do a paste. So that saved me time. So within one minute, I can finish one edit, maybe thirty seconds. So all I need to do is to crop after I copy and paste the、uh, style from the previous picture. Now、um, it's easy for me, and、uh, my goal is as fast as possible for my workflow because I am、uh, shooting as a hobby only, and I don't want to edit for a long time、uh, in my computer. So I'm editing on my phone has a fast workflow. So I save this one. So the next one with、uh, broke in the mid tongue area. So this one. Uh, it's straight out of the camera. The tone is very nice with the、uh, classic chrome already. You can see the blue is nice、uh, with the classic chrome by default. The Fujifilm JPEG, and I'm gonna edit a little bit. So this one you can go both ways. Uh, also, uh, HB two HB two might be too dark, but you can do it、uh, within the five point one range, like from the three. 
to 5.1 because this is original color is already very nice already and if I'm doing the HP2 I'm gonna use the uh, 5.1 the next picture I'm gonna use the HP uh, sorry the E5 for you so just to show the difference of the toning and I'm reducing the highlight exposure and the sharpness so I can tilt it a little bit slightly so that it's perpendicular to the ground on the edges and you can see on the edge it's not as clean in the, this side I'm gonna crop that uh, a little bit so as uh, also on top of that if you crop like this on top this has uh, a little bit dark spot right here I'm gonna crop the whole thing out so that it's easier on the eyes less distraction as possible so and then still maintain some headroom on top so this is my edit and the next one so this one is using the uh, HB2 uh, filter preset from the Visco and next one I'm gonna use the E5 just to show you the different tone so HB2 is darker E5 has a lighter tone less saturated tone in it it's too bright I'm gonna reduce the exposure increase the sharpness and then increase the contrast I can still see the face too bright you can increase the highlight safe and sometimes you can do the uh, temperature also so warmer and then lighter it depends on what your preference if you like colder tone picture you can drag it on the left side and then if you like warmer tone pictures lightly I my feet in general has warmer tone picture I can drag it on this side I can still see it's too bright so I'm gonna reduce you can see just uh, I'm very uh, very focused on those details uh, on the edge so I'm gonna crop the edge slightly also remember that upper left has a box right there I'm gonna crop it closer just make it as uh, clean as possible so my goal is have a clean frame surrounding the model so you can see still have some edge then I might crop it even more the difference between with the edge and without the edge and I can crop slightly more and then reduce the height a little bit now it's clean it looks clean to me it's easier on the eyes and when you look at the picture the first thing you uh, look at is the model's eyes so without any uh, distraction on the side of the frame so the goal is that when the viewer scroll through the feed and then look at your picture first what's the leading um, uh, attracted attracting point for your viewer so without all the edge uh, all the edge is clean make sure all the edge is clean and then the viewers eyes will automatically focus on the model itself so this is a very important point uh, choosing background or cropping the background so I'm gonna save it and then save as actual size now the next one with Kira and this one is in front of the light store and I'm gonna use the E5 for this one it has a brown tone in it and E5 works nice with the brown tone so HP2 and E5 those two are my favorite uh, two presets on the Visco they are complemented very well on the Fujifilm classic chrome mode like uh, the classic chrome uh, simulation mode is very nice combining the color base with HB2 or E5 you don't have to have all the way into the 12 uh, all the time you can just slightly like choose 6 maybe the 6 in the scale of 6 so this is the light edit I did so this is the original color from the Fujifilm JPEG and this is the light edit so you can increase the warmness also just here a little bit also if you don't want too dark you can increase slightly a little bit in here so this is another edit 
so and then i have two more to go so this one and then the last one we ate aerial and so this one has a nice bokeh using the fujifilm 56 mm f 1.2 so i'm gonna use the e5 on this one also and i'm gonna reduce the tone because the the skin is too bright so reduce to one three increase highlight safe increase sharpness and then add the contrast to it so i'm gonna crop it the cropping is uh on the one third area the rule of third and then retain the all the uh, bubble bokeh bokeh ball in the side so create a sense of space of bokeh and i like bokeh and i i have even have the bokeh uh, t-shirt and uh, I'm gonna save this one. Save as actual size. So this is the last one. I'm using the prism, using the prism to reflect on the wall of this uh, garage door. This is my latest uh, post uh, this afternoon, and you can check it out on my Instagram. Uh, I will have that in the description below or uh, in the beginning of the video you can check it out from my instagram handle so i'm gonna crop just uh, as usual make make it into the rule of third and all the lines uh, leading from the left side to the right side it's pretty it's pretty good on the rotation already so i don't need to strengthen it anymore but i still need to increase sharpness increase contrast i can still see too bright until now, I still haven't applied the uh, the preset yet. So it, I can apply HB2 or E5 or E6 uh, because it has a green tone in it. If you like green, but you don't have to drag all the way. You can just leave it at three, four, three to four. So it has a little bit of green tone next to um, the garage door because her her clothes uh, is uh, green in, in terms of green tone. This one can use the E5, uh, sorry, the HB2 also. So HB2, I'm also remaining at this 4.5 uh, range. So it has a nice contrast in it. And I'm gonna increase a little bit. Yep, that's the edit that I have. So I have been uh, using the Visco for a long time. And hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I have more tutorial and behind the scene video coming up. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support in my YouTube channel and uh, my subscription has been uh, jumped to the 7,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your watching um, to my YouTube channel. Bye, see you next time.